Hello, I just wanted to give you a few tips for troubleshooting if you find that uh, some of your R code for one reason or another will not run correctly. For example, say you're working in a DA and you think you have some code to make uh, a graph here where I'm waving my mouse and uh, you decide to run the code here in the R Markdown document to see what the graph will look like and you get an error. Error in GF bar, blah, 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 blah. Could not find function GF bar. If you can't find a function, um, then uh, quite possibly what that means is that you have not loaded the packages that have those functions in them. If it can't find GF bar, that's because the, the R package that has GF bar in it is not attached currently to your R session. You'll want to check up to see at the beginning of uh, you know, whatever document you're working with, what packages need to be uh, attached before you can do that work? Tiger stats apparently needs to be attached. So you'll need to uh, make sure that that code gets run. So I'm running that code chunk. It'll attach uh, tiger stats to my R session. I get all this, uh, the messages that would go into the console stuck here into the output. I'll just close that. Now tiger stats is attached. It attaches a package that contains the GF bar function, and it should work just fine now. Lovely. Okay, some other things that can happen. You may have your package attached, but you could possibly have been typing in the code to practice it. And uh, in that case, you might have maybe misspelled a little bit. Like, what if you just asked for GF bar of all this stuff? Then you get an error that says could not find function GF ba. Well, GF ba ain't going to be in any package, and you're just going to have to um, find the right spelling. Fortunately, code completion, as you see here, comes along and helps. It looks for all of the names in any packages that might correspond to something that you've typed in so far. That's very helpful. Uh, let's see other things that might happen to you. Uh, sometimes, if you're just typing things in, you may misspell the name of the variable that you want to study. The seat variable here. What if you spelled it with a capital S? Let's try to run this code. Now we get object seat with a capital S, not found. So you would have to look back inside your uh, data set using the view or the help to see how uh, the variable is spelled. And once you get it spelled right, then you get your graph. Uh, other possibilities, uh, you could uh, neglect, uh, you, might, you might accidentally remove a, a comma after one of the arguments in the function. And this will elicit typically uh, some kind of nasty, um, more complex error message having to do with the wrong syntax. Unexpected symbol types of uh, errors tend to occur uh, when you uh, have wrong syntax, like not having commas between your arguments. Let's get that comma back in, and sure enough, it works. Um, other possibilities, you want to choose a color, but you forget that colors uh, need to be entered in quotes. Then it's got an object tomato3 not found. It's looking around for some kind of R object named tomato3, and there ain't one. There's just the string, quotes tomato3, that's one of the colors. So we'll need to get those quotes back in. And when I notice when I'm uh, putting them back in, I accidentally, not accidentally, but uh, the, the RStudio server gave me an extra little close quote, which I need to remove. And uh, we're ready to go. There we go. OK. Um, other possibilities. It's possible that if you copy in, um, let's say that you want to copy some code, and you just accidentally miss the closing parenthesis, okay? Um, and and say you so say you copy that, and then you come and you paste that in, and then try to run. Then you get an error about incomplete expression. And that one may be difficult for you to find because you may not uh, you know, realize that it's parenthesis that you did not copy. In that case, you might want to try copying again, you know, and deleting this stuff and copying again.
but sometimes uh, you'll recognize what to do and you can just put in that extra parenthesis and give it a try. Yeah, there it goes. So that's a little uh, roundup of some of the things that can happen to you when you are uh, working with a code chunk and it doesn't work. Hope that is helpful to you at some point.